legacies are not built from average. They're not built from the safe choice, the path of least resistance, the could-haves, or the maybes. Elevate above the pain, the resistance, and the forces that don't want you to win. Legacies are not built from average. They're built when they're earned. Put my shoes on, getting ready for the day to start. <laughs> hey, do you like my um, Go Rock tie dye shirt? Yeah, that's good. I thought so too. Yeah. yeah. The girls at Go Rock did me up like three different shirt colors. Oh, really? Or four. It looks good. Yeah. I like it too. Okay, or just for you? I don't know if they're for sale. Check the website. <laughs> Four weeks after I had Willow, at oh, least. Yeah. Someone could mistake me for like early pregnancy. <laughs> Did you leave something in there? Yeah. That shouldn't be in there. I wonder when Sid's gonna have her first child. Oh, hopefully not anytime soon. It's gonna be a while to you. Are all three of those yours? Huh? Why do you have so many cups? <laughs> so I have just ordinary water in this one. I have my salts in this one. And then in this one I have, it's actually um, people in Australia, it's called a Barocca. And people in Australia would have that if they have a hangover. But it gives you like more energy. And it's got like um, vitamin B in it and, and like a bunch of good stuff. So I just got three, three varieties going on right now. Do you do supplementing caffeine at all? Because you do coffee, but like... Oh yeah, I do coffee in the morning, but like nothing in terms of like a pre-workout, just because, um, so for example, on Saturday that's just gone, I actually got drug tested, so we did like an out, out, of, comp uh, out of competition drug testing, and um, not all pre-workout have, um, you know banned substances but I just never want to risk it so even if it's like out of competition or in competition um, you know we can randomly get drug tested at any point so I think it's important not to have or be reliant on pre-workout it's crazy because like I've had training partners that have had that stuff before but like everyone talks about how like their heart rate just goes through the roof and I'm like man I need my heart rate for my workout so I've never really had them I'd be happy with that. Let's see. Is this heavy? Against that. No warm up, just straight into it. You've got it. You've got it. <laughs> you, what's raw dog mean? Not, not good. <laughs> okay. Raw dog? Raw dog. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I thought you said war dog yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, war dog. Did you say raw dog? War dog. <laughs> the family environment. I go in there with the do or die attitude and the man, I would die before I let that drop. I've got that willow in me. You know that, I didn't want to say dog because I feel like that's a... <laughs> Because 
they're just so much better than the other ones, but you're just so used to the other shoes. Terminator. Yeah. Terminator style. <laughs> it's pressing a weakness because I feel like we are doing it aggressive. A lot? Yeah. No. Honestly, um, so coming back into uh, my training and just building my strength and everything, my pressing was actually far beyond my um, lower body strength. And so uh, we actually like didn't do it for a little while just to really focus and hammer going into Rogue. Uh, just trying to like get that lower body strength back as quick as possible. Um, and then I just asked Shane if we could, because also like I had that wrist issue at the start of the year, um, you know, we're kind of playing a little bit of catch up in my upper body. So it's all finally leveling out. Um, and I feel it's a little bit more even now, but I just wanted to do a little bit more on that just to make up for the time that I wasn't spending on my upper body. I thought I broke my back just then. <laughs> it went crack, 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 crack. Do the clips on symbolize something? I don't know why. Um, why? Like sometimes, yeah. Like the, uh, like warming up, I don't really put the clips on. And then when I'm at my working set, I'll put the clips on. But it's good role models for the uh, for the affiliate. For the younger generation. It's like wearing a helmet, unless bench pressing. Feel like you're on track? Me, yeah. Feel it's good to be training again. You're not talking about me, are you? Uh, Tia. Yeah, things are good. Seeing good shift in the in strength, which which is a good time. So now we go on a deload. And now everything starts turning more sports specific. Like we've isolated front squats and push press. So after deload, we're going into thrusters. Just progression for the games. Did you did you like it more with it just being her for you to focus on? Because now with the games, you're gonna have Ow. yeah kind of a lot more on your plate. Um, yeah, for sure. I think it's just easier, right? When you only got to manage one in person athlete. Um, I like having more. For sure, it allows us to like have points of references. We can experiment with different strategies, like, hey, you go hard in the first round and you go more of a consistent approach, and let's have feedback at the end of this. Um, and it also, you can bounce off each other from strength to weaknesses. But in terms of like deep diving, I don't think there's a, anyone denies that like obviously one athlete, you can dive completely into that. I once asked her if she prefers a male or a female training partner, or like which one's more beneficial. Do you think that there's a difference? pair well with her as a male training partner for sure like we've seen that in the past history as well it's just because their level of intensity and working towards more so the approach of um, they're training to alongside each other rather than one day or one moment they're going to be competing alongside each other Well, it looks strong from my position. <laughs> Sorry, bro. She couldn't, she couldn't see your tripod, Luis. It's a cool one, no? <laughs> Sponsored by Proven. Oh, I, <laughs> I know. Damn it, I'm so sorry, bro. No, no worries, no worries. I should know all this. I should know. We're gonna do that video on how many calories she brings in a day. If you had to guess, what do you think it's gonna oh. be? Yeah, because because we're entering deloads, so this is probably good. I'd be curious myself. Without like looking into the weeds or diving deep into like what the workouts are, I'm just gonna throw 2,700. Is she even eating that? Yeah, she is. Yeah, but now like where we are in the season, yeah. But um, 
it's a, it's a mission. Like it's not like it doesn't happen by itself. I'll tell you what, not like me. I sniff food. I put weight on. What about those crumble cookies for this week? You see that lineup? No, that no. cake this. Week. Yeah, bad time. Like maybe because I've had too many crumble. Like I, I feel like I can taste every ingredient in there. But it's good that they're mixing up. I don't mind a soft cookie. You don't impress me, so don't test me, nah. So don't test me, nah. Don't test me, yo. You don't impress me, so don't test me, nah. So don't test me, nah. Don't test me, ah, uh, yo. They wouldn't let me. Nah. Man's guy wanna come undress me. Spring yeah. with the right, but I might go lefty. Left. I made plus with it, so don't test me. Don't test me. They wouldn't let me. Let Man's guy wanna come undress me. me. Swing with the right, but I might go lefty. Left. I made plus with it, so don't test me. Nah. Don't test me. You don't impress me. So don't test me, nah. So don't test me, nah. Don't test me. Uh. You don't impress me. So don't test me, nah. So don't test me, nah. Don't test me. Uh. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed another day of games training. Um, it's definitely been one of those things, we've actually said it lately, how this season's flying, but I feel like every season flies. Everything is, you know, really coming together nicely. I'm very happy with how my strength is progressing. That's definitely been something that I knew I needed to work on um, since Rogue. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't need to do Rogue in order to know that but you just know and feel it in your body. So that's coming along nicely. It's just a matter of doubling down over the next couple of weeks. And then we'll be starting to taper and getting ready to sharpen that sword for the games.